Hey there, everybody. P.T. Pop here with all four lobes of my brain securely bound behind my back. And in one's lifetime, it's very hard to find genuine people who are unselfish and giving. And I know this from personal experience. I have seen a lot of people come and go in my life, many of whom were users and people that had an agenda. And... Anytime I meet somebody who I feel has gone out of their way for me unselfishly and has accepted me into their life, I like to call them out and, say, and thank you for them. And there's a guy here on the internet named Mike Williams who runs the Sage of Quay radio channel. He has a Paul is Dead channel. And Mike, at the risk of sounding faggoty, um, and I'm not, uh, I think you're... A guy, Mike Williams is a guy who openly and willingly let me come into his little world of conspiracy theories and Beatles and Paul is dead. And he welcomed me in onto his channel. He welcomed me into his his world. And for me as a guy who rarely gets that kind of I don't know what you call it, that, that kind of acceptance. Uh, means a lot to me and it means a lot to me because you know you know my background from my documentary Road to Forgiveness I've had a lot of betrayal in my life betrayal from family betrayal from friends I've become more or less a loner I try to stay away from people because I find people are very unpredictable and hurtful um, but Mike you've been a very genuine guy with me and you've been very sincere and straightforward and I appreciate everything you've done for my channel. You've helped me grow my channel a little bit. And you've helped me um, accept that my theories, I'm not alone in my theories, whether you want to call them conspiracy theories or not. Um, but I, you, you made me feel I'm not alone in this world with my conspiracies and my thoughts about not just the Beatles, but the world in general. The other day, uh, we did our final interview together, or what I think might be our final interview together, and you announced to me that you're retiring from the Beatles conspiracy platform to focus on your family, which I totally respect that and I get it, but you're gonna be missed. You're one of the sound, solid voices, clear and solid voices in this scene of conspiracy. There is like a classic Camaro going by all hopped up and I just want to say thank you I just want to I'm so glad you're out there uh, I've written to a lot of people here on YouTube and try to get their attention and say hey can I be on your show and they would you know one guy wanted four hundred dollars an hour to talk to him other people just ignored me and uh, when other people ignored me when other people wouldn't have, give me the you know the light of day you you did and um, you're a genuine guy, and I can't thank you enough for everything. I really can't, and I wish you all the luck in the world. And I know you, we don't really know each other. I don't really know you. And uh, for those of you that wonder, oh, do these guys really know each other? I don't know Mike. I don't know him at all. I don't really know much about him. He doesn't know much about me. He probably knows more about me than I know about him because of my documentary um, that he did go out of his way to watch. But I wish you all the luck, Mike. Um, you know, if there's somebody I'd like to meet, I would like to meet you one day. Maybe I'll come to the Carolinas. We go down there once in a blue moon to the Outer Banks to go on vacation. But just I just want to let you know that I really appreciate everything you've done for me, for the Beatles community, for the, for the world of people who have been red-pilled and who are um, no longer in the Matrix. You're a strong, solid voice out there amongst all the noise and the confusion from the propaganda. So, again, Mike, you're a great guy. At least, you, to me, you've been good. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the luck in the world. And uh, stay in touch. Take care, and uh, have fun with your grandkids and your family. Bye.